Hey y'all, guess what? It is Taco Tuesday. And if you wanna know what I'm bringing to y'all, yes, honey, I'm bringing to y'all some taco, okay? So if you wanna know more about this taco, keep on watching. glad that you guys decided to stay and today i am showcasing another beautiful palette from glam light yes ladies i know you guys are like for those that haven't watched my videos like who is glam like what is that glam light has come out with a very very unique concept for their palettes and what I mean by that is over to my right or my left, I will show you guys the pizza palette. Um, she also had the hamburger palette. And now we have the taco palette, okay? So let me just tell you guys a little bit about this palette. It has 16 shades and um, it states from the original creators of a viral food theme makeup, Glam Light takes you on a trip to Latin America to bring you the taco palette. The world's first palette inspired by one of the most delicious Mexican dishes ever created. Um, so, I mean, just to know that she even came out or decided to do this concept, y'all, I just think it's, you know, it's awesome, okay? Um, so, when I find something very interesting, and y'all know I'm new to makeup, um, I am going to try it out because that's just what I do. But I'm going to stop in the middle of this video, and I want to say that to all my oldies, thank you guys for rocking with me. If you are new, welcome to the Queen's family. And if you just pass them by and you like what you see, go ahead and hit that subscribe button and the notification bell and be a part of the family and you will never miss another video, okay? So now, let's open up this palette. Now, I did do today's look using this palette. Yes, y'all, the colors are bomb. And her palette is very, very pigmented. So this is what the inside of the box look like, okay? So your taco palette is inside of this wrapping and it comes very well packaged and everything like that. Y'all, isn't this cute? I mean, it is shaped just like an actual taco. So when you open the palette up, this is what you get. So you get a mirror on the top and then you get all of these wonderful colors. Look at that. So you have some shimmers and you have some matte shades. I am gonna swatch all of the shades for you guys, even though I have on, I think I have on four of the shades right now, um, but I am gonna swatch them all for you just so that you can see what they look like. We also have the lippies that came with this um, particular taco palette, which is churros and hortacha and the margarita lashes, which I actually have on the lashes right now. These are silk lashes. They're very nice and very natural looking. Um, so that's that about these lashes. So now let's get into the swatches. So the first color that I am going to swatch for you guys is onion, okay? So that is the onion. Look at that. 
very sheer and shimmer, but yet very, very vibrant. The next shade is a Mexican cheese. Okay, look at these colors, y'all. The next one is reddish. Look at that purple. Yes, I'm here for it. I am here for it. Loving it. The next color is a matte. It's polo. So polo is more of a transition shade because it's like almost my skin tone. So I've actually used that to like set my um, eye um, primer base. So that works really, really well for that if you're a darker of a darker um, skin tone. The next shade is Guala, uh, Guala Look at that green, y'all. Yes. Very, very pretty. The next shade is cilantro. And this is a shimmer. Look at that. These colors are so pretty. And then we have lime so the lime is more like a it looks more like a olive olive the color to me okay and some of the colors y'all i'm not good with swatches so some of them may not be coming out right because i am wiping my fingertips off as i swatch so that the colors don't mix. So the next is Carnitinas. I think that's how you pronounce it. Look at that color. And this is like a very deep, like purple. It's like a brownish purple, it looks like. Very, very pretty. Um, the next shade is the Pica de Gallo. And it is also a shimmer. Okay, look at that. Now, this palette seems more fall to me than necessary summer, but you can mix the tones. Like I got this bright eye look just using um, two of the shades um, from this palette. Um, the next shade is called Salsa Roja. Y'all, I am terrible with Mexican um, names so but look how vibrant that is very 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 pretty okay the next one is red cabbage look at that red cabbage and i did use that purple and then we have pickled carrots. Okay. And we have our pastor. Now this is what I have on my eye right now. I have the radish and the owl pastor on my eyes right now. And it's a shimmer. Okay, look how vibrant these colors are, y'all. Y'all peeping at? Very, very vibrant. Then we have Salsa Verde. Now, this is more of an olive, but I feel like this is like, see the lime and the olive look so similar, but I can see the lime being more of a neon. So, that is the Salsa Verde. And the last one is carne asada. I guess that's how you say it. Y'all, look, we trying with these names, okay? 
and it is like a rich brown okay so i use also use this color as my transition shade okay so these are all of the colors all 16 colors in the taco palette and what i do like is you know how sometimes you get a palette that don't give you a transition shade i feel like her hamburger palette her pizza palette and this palette they did really good with giving you choices for a transition shade you have great choices for um uh highlight to put up under your brow bone like i feel like she did gave you everything you need inside one palette so let's go over these look at these shades one more time okay so next we're going to talk about the lippy so what i like about the lippy is she gave you two new shades and um one is a matte and the other one is a lip gloss okay but this is what the actual tube look like now the only thing that she didn't do is put the names on the lippies so once you take it out the box if you're not keeping the wrap the actual box to let you know what shade this is you're not gonna know what shade lippy you have so glam light i think you should like put the name of the actual lippy on the top or the bottom so that you know people will know if they want to reorder just that one particular um shade but i do think that it was very unique of her to add y'all y'all see my fingerprints all over it but she added a mirror okay so that when you put on your lippy you could just take this out and you got this little mirror and you could put your lippy on all in one and you ain't gotta go get all up in the mirror so i think that was really cute um i am going to swatch the color i do have on the um i believe that this is the chiro so i have on the chiro which is the matte one and the Hortacha is supposed to be the, like, the gloss, okay? So, I am going to swatch that for you. Okay. So, it does have, like, a very shimmer look to it, if you guys could see that. Okay. And the Hortacha, uh, Chiro's is gonna be your matte okay so you can tell the difference and the hortacha is supposed to give you more of a chocolatey um base and it actually does so it can be worn along or you can put it on top of a actual lippy so that is all of the items that came with the release of the taco palette and y'all know i love to share this with you guys there is a discount code that i will link down in the description box if you guys decide that you want to try out the taco palette again this is what she looked like and I want to thank y'all for coming on and enjoying this Taco Tuesday with me because, girl, do you see this look? And y'all know I'm a beginner, so my lashes may not be right sometime and all of that. But I just had to come on and share you guys um, what I'm learning how I'm learning to do my makeup a little bit better. Um, I have not mastered the eyebrows, so I don't touch my eyebrows. And um, I don't contour because I haven't mastered the contouring. And I feel like I need to master everything else first before I try to learn the next step because I don't want to overwhelm myself with trying to learn too much. But anywho, y'all. 
Thank you guys for tuning in and until next a video.